Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own custom cosmetics for your Gorilla Tag fan game. If you haven't already, join the Discord because this is where you're going to be getting all of the information from. And also when you're going to get all the latest updates and when you can see when I post a new video. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. First off, what you want to do is you want to join my Discord server and then in here you want to scroll down until you see finger painter badge or finger painter and you just want to download this finger painter dot unity package and then you want to go into your game and what you want to do is you want to right click on the plan anywhere and then click import package custom package and then in your in your this PC you want to search in this PC finger painter or finger underscore painter and then just give it a second it should just do its thing and then you, when you find it you just wanna click on it and then click open or drag it in same thing and then it's gonna ask you if you wanna import these you just wanna click import <coughs> and then you do have to sacrifice one cosmetic of your choice for this so it could be like any one of these or for me I'm just gonna do the GT1 badge because ain't nobody really uses that so without further ado let's just get into it as you can see right here we have the finger painter badge now what you want to do is you want to click on it and then you want to memorize this mesh okay this is for every single uh, FBX or whatever tutorial you want to memorize your mesh or else you will not be able to do this custom cosmetic you want to memorize this mesh name and then in your hierarchy up here you want to type in GT1 or whatever cosmetic you're doing I'm doing the GT1 badge find the one that's like inside of the body and then enable it click this little check mark and then in here the mesh which you just memorized you want to click this little circle icon And then in here, you want to type in finger painter or whatever you memorized. And then you want to click on the first one. Make sure it's the same one for us. Uh, it's, it's the finger painter badge, so it's good. And you want to drag it out and make it scaled and sized to the like right point, I guess. Just do it however you want it to look good on your gorilla. So for me, it's a cosmetic, like a badge, so I'm gonna put it where the badges would usually be. And I'm gonna be right back, because this usually takes a while. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have that done, um, also if you want to, you can just uh, click in the description to get the finger painter badge. You don't have to join my Discord server, but it's also gonna be in my Discord server. But it's also going to be in the description, so you don't have to join the Discord server. But I would uh, I would recommend you to because like you know you can you can know whenever a new video is posted. All right. Anyways, enough with that. Basically, now what you want to do, since it's all black, and instead we want it to have the color. So what what we're gonna do in in your assets, you want to type in dungeons. Or dungeon my bad and then you want to drag this material on it with a bunch of minecraft blocks for whatever reason and now it's gonna have this good color on it that we want that looks like the GT uh, the, the finger painter not the GT1 badge I'm sorry and you just want to uncheck mark it again and now basically what this does is now if you enable the GT1 badge only you can see it but nobody else can see the uh, finger painter. So if you then it's going to be a GT1 badge for everyone else and not a finger painter badge for everyone else. But I know exactly how to fix this and all you have to do is go is you want to find resources in here. Double click that. And then double click on the Gorilla Prefab prefabs and then double click on Gorilla Player. And now what you want to do is you want to do the same. So in here, type in GT1 or whatever you're using. And then again, go in here 
and then type in whatever you memorized. Rescale it, resize it, and then put the color on it. Okay, so now that I angled it correctly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in dungeon again and add this material to it. And then what you want to do is you want to click control S or click file and save and then make sure to uncheck mark it and then go back to scenes. So now basically that's all you have to do to make it a custom cosmetic. Um, but that's like a little quick tutorial on how to make your gorilla tag copy have custom cosmetics. If you did enjoy this, please make sure to like and subscribe. I put efforts I put a lot of effort into these videos. And yeah, hope you have a wonderful day and see you.